Hello and welcome to the third tutorial in the Swift Basic series and in this part we're going to be looking at variables. Variables are storage locations for data within programming. The data can be manipulated and retrieved. Variables in Swift are extremely easy. There is no need to specify the data type on like languages such as C and Objective-C. If you use them you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And they use the keyword var to declare a variable. If you use something like JavaScript you'll feel right at home here with variables. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. You assign or you create a variable, like this you do var, then the name of variable, I'm going to do a, then you assign it a value, and I'm going to assign it a value 9, so this is an integer. When you assign a value, the variable becomes a certain data type, and if I were to do a equal 9.9, it will give me an error because a is an integer, but if I do a equal 8, it's fine with it because 8 is an integer, so you can only assign a certain type of value to a variable once it has a data type but you don't have to specify the data type here it automatically picks it up you do var b equals 4.5 and this is a float value you do var c equals true this is a boolean value var d equals quotation marks hello world this is a string value var uh, that is it and we can use this in a print line by saying print ln and you just specify the variable name so I'm going to specify d if I run this it says hello world I'll change this to c run this it says can't see it, true and if you run b you run it, let this pop up disappear, and it says 4.5. It's that simple. That's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at constants, which are similar to variables, but I think you can guess what the what it, what they are by the name. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonosystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube. The source code for this tutorial will also be in the description via a link and as usual thanks for watching and have a nice day